告，激发大家的灵感。果然有不少的大型企业都注意到了。不管是软糖还是化妆品，卖房子的还是卖饮料的，电视上的广告五花八门，可都是厂商砸重金找专业人才制作的。但这种行销模式可能很快会变成过去式。A big budget TV spot can be a few million bucks or, or, or way more than that. And、uh, you know, shooting a vine is free, posting a video to YouTube is free. It's inherently a lot cheaper than the traditional model. 这些搞笑广告就是素人的作品。美国这间零食大厂广发英雄帖，把胜出的作品放上今年美式足球超级杯时段，行销噱头十足。这些素人拍的广告，现在除了在电视上播，还席卷行动平台。The process usually just, you know, goes through brainstorming. I sketch the rough idea. I try to plan the frames out, and then. I put it all together. 才二十三岁，面对镜头很紧张的柯雅，可是网络创意大师。让他爆红的是 Twitter 今年新推出的影音分享 App， 叫做 Vine。每段影片只能录短短六秒钟的限制，让他创意大爆发。不止吸引国际媒体采访，厂商也自动上门来。I'm not experienced as you know it looks like I am, and. It was just pretty crazy, and got like random phone calls somehow. And then we would like to work with you, talk to you about more things that in the future opportunities. And like, okay, I guess. 社群媒体的广告效益潜力无穷，也让越来越多企业在网路找商机。We at Revlon never use social media.、Uh, this year in、uh, 2013, we're gonna we're gonna be about 30 percent social media and digital. We're gonna drop our print by about 25 percent. 跨国酒店集团希尔顿也在网络开辟新战场，鼓励消费者把住宿经验分享到脸书上，希望吸引更多新客户。They they crave authenticity, they want real voices, and they like to participate. 所以，如果你爱拍照、会拍照，又喜欢上传分享，哪天有广告主找上门，可别太惊讶了。记者综合报道。在国外行之有年的打工换宿，现在这个风潮也吹向台湾来了。一起来看到南投竹山小镇上面的打工换宿，非常的有意义，因为来这里的年轻人，他们用。